Welcome to the Home Shopper Show. For those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Chad Viveros and today we're gonna to be taking you on a tour around this 22 million rand Balinese inspired home right here in the heart of Eagle Canyon Lifestyle Estate. This is a household name throughout Gauteng and when you move into this estate, you become part of a tight-knit community and have access to so many amenities. One is a golf course, a pro shop, clubhouses, restaurants and so much more. Now this home is located between two green belts and has opulence written all over it. So follow me because there's one last thing I need to say to you and that is welcome home. Coming into this Balinese home, there are so many features that immediately grab your attention. The first being the front door, hand carved straight from Bali. It is an incredible door to walk through and it gives so much character to this home. But something I'm sure all of you have noticed is one incredible light flooring and these massive double volume ceilings, dark teak against the white ceiling really does make it stand out. But I'm obviously skirting around the number one feature and that is this incredible koi pond that leads on to the dining area. Take a look, you walk through your front entry hall across these marble steps and here it is, the dining room table. You can sit here with all of your guests surrounded by water as well as fish and then we've got these floor to ceiling windows and these ones on the side are absolutely gigantic frameless windows leading out onto the outside area but the outside area is a whole different ball game and we have to leave that for last because there's so much to talk about there but what a dining room area this is above us huge again barley inspired chandeliers hanging from that double volume ceiling but where we're gonna have to go first we've spoken about the dining room hall which means let's pop across this marble step and come into the area that's going to be servicing that dining room area and that would be the kitchen and here it is in all of its glory the split kitchen you can see it behind me in front of me so much counter space or call, should I say tabletop that you can use both as a prep surface and because it's double leveled so much space here to use have guests eat enjoy themselves enjoy breakfast above us stunning chandeliers and then behind me we've got a center island that both has that chef sink that very very important chef sink as well as a raised dice here for any chopping and cutting you need to do and right of here we've got a built-in gas hob with the cover so it's a really cool feature nice to see they've included it but talking about cool features let's talk about the main area really that you're gonna be whipping up all your food and let's run through it right over here we've got a steamer a gas hob another gas hob over here a grill a charcoal grill underneath there and then right over here is a deep fryer underneath this so really cool that they've got all of this here within easy reach and basically does everything you need but maybe some of you are saying where the oven is well over here we've got a microwave oven and a warming drawer just underneath all this cupboard space along here as well as in the center island and this one here this right here is a steam oven with again another warming drawer got beautiful frosted cabinets some of the cabinetry as well as shelving has got its very own lighting stunning down lighting above us and this is one half of the kitchen but the key feature is half of the kitchen because the other half is part of the scullery slash pantry and that's behind me over there but before we run there let's talk about stunning wood flooring and I love this so all of this open exposed space brick but what's made this so special is that it's been varnished and sealed so it's super nice to touch and also keeps out the dust keeps away all of the the dirt that gets into these crevices so I really like it and gives it a cool glossy finish 
The whole home is controlled remotely through the different remote you see throughout the home. On my left hand side, massive double door fridge right here underneath this frosted glass window, letting in a lot of light. There's also a fridge in the kitchen, there's an area for a fridge there. And then coming through here, here it is, your second kitchen. Now being in this area, these tall ceilings, all of this dark wood, but also so much light and greenery, it really does feel like you're on your very own island paradise. Over here, if you're doing any washing up, you've got a double sink that is fitted into your own Caesar stone countertops, both here as well as here. We've got a five top gas burner extractor fan right over here, both of them being Siemens. And then we've got those traditional ovens and microwaves, again, both of them Siemens and built in right over there. Plenty of storage, both under counter as well as above. Appliances are ready there. And if I carry on walking straight, I'll find myself within the garage area, three car garage, all of them extra length. But let's talk about this. We've got a split door leading out onto a stunningly clear deck. And this deck has got beautiful, beautiful varnished wood over there. Again, another entrance for the garage. But here's an outside area where you can grow your herbs, really have some fun, enjoy yourself, enjoy the outdoor areas. You can see it's got a shade net above us. And one of those outside sinks, which for everybody that's active and living on a golf course like this, it's so nice to have a sink outside. So if you need to do any washing up, it's all handled. <laughs> so let's head back inside. Let's show you some of the other living areas throughout the house. And then it's time for the bedrooms. So now that we've shown you that stunning kitchen, let's take a look at the other living areas. One thing I'd like to notice is take a look at the ceiling just above me. Stunning blue lighting. I love the shapes and the geometric patterns they've used up there, as well as this incredible feature wall housing a fully sealed off fireplace. Now glass surrounds as well as a fan in there that blows all that hot air out while keeping all the smells out of the house. So you never need to wake up with a home that smells of burning wood. But over here, talking about burning wood, we've got an outside gas fireplace, beautiful smokestack, again, with that sealed face brick. An area here for you to sit, relax, and enjoy some outdoor dining with your friends and family. All of this is exposed. I love how it looks. Another really cool thing is take a look at the roof joints and how they're completely different to anything else you'll ever see. Love all of the attention to details the owners have put into this home. Really is cool and it's paying off right now. Right over there, as I've noticed it, we've got to talk about it, your little prep sink. You've got your countertop over here for you to prep up and get ready for the best bra you're ever gonna have. And the reason being isn't just gonna be those frameless glass doors, but the fact that you get to walk into this entertainment area right here and enjoy yourself with all your friends and family because it is absolutely massive. Again, above us, huge geometric ceiling, all of this exposed face brick over here, creating a feature wall, and then behind me, another feature wall, all the cabinetry you could ever need, built-in speakers, and then this massive TV. Now, I'm sure as you've noticed, and as you'll continue to notice throughout this home, specifically when we look outside at those hand-carved pillars for the outside area, that this home has been built with barley in mind, and all of the furniture fits it absolutely perfectly. So, the selling price of this home, that 22 million, remember this is a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom home, it includes all the furniture, so you don't need to worry about furnishing a home like this. It comes with everything you could ever need. And here we are, back in the hallway. Behind me, some bedrooms as well as some other really cool surprises. Why don't you guys go ahead and let's take a look. And what a passageway this is. I'm sure you guys enjoyed the view. This skylight above us, as well as this whole wall made out of completely frameless glass, really does feel like you're outdoors. I love the fountain in front of me. And we talk so often about indoor outdoor living, but how is this? An indoor outdoor pond. You take a look at all the koi fish swimming lovingly. If you open up this door, you've got the sights, the sounds of that stunning pond but this is where or this is at least one wing of the home that contains bedrooms and this bedroom we're walking in right now is the biggest of the three that you'll find in this wing now this is less of a bedroom as it is a fully self-sustained cottage and i'll tell you why it is right now right over here we've got the bedroom massive really tall ceilings love it got all the down lights right onto the bedroom these stunning plantation blinds that are the same color, the same wood color as the rest of the home. Chandeliers right over here, 
and I'm walking right into the bathroom. So if we talk about the bathroom, we've got single vanity, just above it is a huge mirror there that you can use getting ready as well as to just expand this bathroom, make it look a little bit bigger. On the right hand side of the bathroom, you've got your own glass shower. You can actually pop it open, walk right in, huge, tall, big. I know for uh, a lot of you big guys, some of these showers, just a bit too short, not the case here. As I said, here's this single vanity toilet tucked away, but you've also got your very own bathtub and you could say this is a walk-in closet. Right over here, you've got all your cupboard space for everything you might need. But then I said it is self-contained. So if we walk through this door, here it is, that living area I was talking about. You've got your very own kitchen, stunning glass raised countertop, but here's your living area as well. TV over there, lounge suite that can put be put down here. And I mean, what's a living area with your very own or without your very own private balcony? You back out on that deck that we are just on the side of the kitchen. Yeah, as you can see, a little outside area for you to sit down, enjoy, and specifically enjoy with the sounds of that fountain. But let's quickly explore the kitchen and see what that's got to offer as well. Here it is, your very own kitchen. We've got a three burner gas top. We've got your under counter oven and then Surprisingly and impressively, you've got a double sink right over here. This faucet swivels to both. Really like that, I've incorporated that. And I mean, cottages of this size very rarely come with a double sink. You've got all of this under counter storage, these beautiful tall ceilings. I mean, who wouldn't want to sit here and enjoy yourself and be completely sealed off from the rest of the home? So this makes, because of the fact that it's so private, the perfect guest wing. So any of you entertaining visitors often that do want to sleep over, you know they're going to have the best time right over here. Now there are two remaining rooms of the home. Here is the first one. This is more of a traditional bedroom. Still absolutely massive. We've got this bed here that is dwarfed by the side of the room behind me, built in desk that again is really really big the beautiful shelving two down lights again massive ceiling plantation shutters leading outside and then you've got your own smaller version of that walk-in closet and a bathroom area right over here now your bathroom area again includes that single vanity you've got your very own mirror walk-in shower and then a bathtub with a view of your grounds outside And here it is, the second and last bedroom on this side of the home. And as you can see, it is the twin of the one we were just over there. On this side of the room, we've got that built-in desk area. We've got these two down lights, stunning, love them. Reminds me of those ship port holes. Massive bed right over here. I love the backboard being made out of this poured concrete with built-in speakers over here. And then places for you to put little trinkets, really make this bedroom feel like your own. Over here, another one of those panels, as I did mention, this home is completely set up for smart homes. And then on this side, your very own walk-in closet. Again, a little mini walk-in closet here, although with ample, ample cupboard space. Stunning, tiny tiles again, bringing in that feeling of being on an island, enjoying Bali. I love the way this home set out. It is a first in the private property show, and I'm so glad we've had the opportunity to film it. Here it is your own ensuite bathroom, huge mirror located there, single vanity, toilet tucked away in the corner, gigantic walk-in shower, just one door away from you enjoying a shower in Bali. I mean, for us that maybe can't go there right now, you can still enjoy it in your very own home. And then right over here, sunken bathtub, for you to enjoy, pop open those plantation shutters, take a look at the grounds outside. They are stunning and completely indigenous, so we do like that. But talking about gardens, both of these bedrooms have access to your front gardens. If you're like me and you love the outdoors, then this outdoor area is really going to take your breath away. It feels like you're enjoying Bali right here in the comfort of your own home. Although we do have what Bali doesn't have and that is those hardy dogs that are singing out there. Beautiful wooden deck, these holes with these palm trees popping up out of it. Stunning cactus garden just there on the left. Obviously a spot here for you to sit down and enjoy. And again, some sunbeds just up there, up that raised diet for you to sit down, enjoy some cocktails on the weekend and really have some fun. But while we're here, take a look at this, your very own private outdoor shower and this stunning wraparound heated pool 
that is without a doubt one of the coolest pools I've ever seen. And let me show you. Another really cool feature while I'm here is, do keep in mind all of this has got lighting built into the deck. There's a, it's a whole line of lights over here. Beautiful varnish deck. This is the feature of the outside area with this wraparound pool, but this is a Bali gazebo, two sun chairs over here, and it leads out right on to the pool, and then looking down to the rest of your grounds, because that all belongs to you as well. There's a pond just a little bit further, but what a place to sit down and enjoy. You've got this shade netting and mosquito netting right over here, and if I dodge these plants, you can just see closing all of it enjoying some candles and some cocktails is exactly how I'd like to spend my Friday. And if you're going to enjoy cocktails, there's only one place those cocktails come from and that is the bar area. But as we walk through this whole section here, you can see just how much outdoor seating there is on offer. So no matter how many people you might be entertaining, this home has got you covered. But what a bar this is. I mean, I love just the bar counter. Take a look at it. All these quarry stones just heaped in there. There's lighting inside here as well as a plug point just in case you need it. This incredible top counter, all of this down lighting. Again, you can enjoy the rafters over there with the dark wood over here. We've got a tip and yucky grill, extractor fan. If you want to whip up a meal here, you know we've got you covered. So this is a fully kitted out bar area, but some of you might be saying, Chad, hold on. Bar areas usually have place for games. Maybe we want to play pool, maybe we want to play darts. Where's my games area, Chad? Well, we've got you covered. We've got you covered. It is just down the set of stairs of here. Come take a look and let's see what games are on offer. Welcome to your very own temperature controlled and naturally temperature controlled wine cellar as well as a dining room area. If you want to host a fancy dinner party, this is exactly where you're going to be doing it. But talking about cooling and mentioning games, all that cool stuff is going to be happening right here. We'll walk through this arch and here is the games room pool table. Plenty of lighting, all these squishy, enjoyable chairs for you to sit down, play some darts, have some drinks, and go all out enjoying yourself. I love that they've built that, and I love the fact that because it is underground, it's always nice and cool. But I've got a couple more things to show you, and two of those things happen to be the master suite. So let's head back upstairs. Let's take a look at what the rest of the bar has to offer and let's pop through to the two master bedrooms. Let's go. So here we are, we've taken a look at the games room, I've pilfered some wine, I mean would it be a Home Shopper Show episode if I haven't? As you can see you guys are wrapping around the stunning outdoor area and there's a lot more to get to when we talk about outdoors but let's take a look at the master wing of the home and to do that we have to go this way. So coming through this arch here we find ourselves back in the dining room area and what a centerpiece this is. There's, there's almost so much to talk about this area that I don't think I'm ever going to do it justice. But one thing I did want to mention is on both sides of me, you can see these huge slabs of marble. Those are fountains. So you can have your fountains on and really make this home take somebody's breath away when they walk in. Now on this side of the room, something we didn't mention as we walked in because we went through the dining room area, is this sunroom. Double doors open up into an incredible area for you to sit down, relax and enjoy a book again. All of the finishings, Bali inspired. We've got another fireplace right over here. Plantation blinds giving you privacy from your motor court. And then on this area here, we've got those seamless glass doors stacked up on your left hand side, giving you access to an outdoor garden area. Again, another fountain wrapped around one of those beautiful Bali inspired turrets. It is such an incredible area both during winter with the doors closed because of that seamless frameless glass as well as during summer where you can open it all up getting a beautiful breeze and enjoy a cup of coffee with a beautiful book. So now that we've got the sunroom covered let's cross over this stunning entry hall. I actually cannot get enough of it. Come through this set of double doors and we are smack bang right here in the cinema room and there's a lot to unpack right here. We've got not one art cool but two of those art cool air cons making sure that you are kept crispy fresh in the summertime but if it's winter and it's a little bit chilly we've got a fireplace right there warming you up and then in front of me absolutely incredibly large cinema system feature concrete wall behind it giving you that art feel and then we've got a speaker there a speaker there a speaker there a speaker there there and there and then obviously the projector up there so you know if you're watching something here you're going to not only see it but you're going to feel it and it is 
such an incredible place. Sit down with a box of popcorn and enjoy yourself. And when you're done enjoying yourself and you feel a little bit tired, you're gonna scoot through these doors and then it's time to go to the master suite. But there's one other thing I need to mention. I mean, a home like this is built for entertaining. So Chad, where is the guest bathroom? Well, guest bathroom's right over here, right off the entry hall. Open up this door and you've got most certainly a one-of-a-kind guest bathroom that leads off into the bar area. So everybody in the bar area enjoying themselves has access to this guest bathroom as well. Let's take a look at it. Now your guest bathroom is completely decked out in blue marble. We've got undercounter storage. You've got your single toilet right there, smack dead center, really making this feel like an area that was designed exclusively for a bathroom of this caliber. You've got absolutely massive mirrors covering one whole section of the wall. And then one of the coolest faucets I've seen is one of those almost waterfall faucets opening up, letting the water spill out onto that countertop and draining away behind the rock set. And here it is, finally we are in the master wing of the home. So right here is the entry hall to that master wing. Stunning piece of marble built up on this wall here. And down there, the master bedroom in the master wing. So we're gonna have to start in this bedroom right over here. Got one of these sliding doors opening up onto one of the two master bedrooms. Um, I have to say master bedroom because this is without a doubt a master bedroom, but just wait until you see that one over there. We've got this floating bed right over here, stunning under bed lighting. Well, often we say under bed lighting. Out here is access to the garden area with these stunning stackable plantation shutters, letting in light as well as air. And then over here is the ensuite bathroom for the master suite. We've got this huge, freestanding bathtub, take a look at this, look at the edges on this bathtub, you know you're in something expensive when it is this formidable, on my left hand side all your cupboard space should you need it, and over here on your right hand side is the walk-in shower, glass and clothes, you can sit in there really enjoy yourself while taking in the outdoor areas, some privacy is just off to the left hand side, that's exactly where your toilet is, more of those plantation shutters letting in that outdoor area. And here we are finally in the creme de la creme, the master suite, and I'm sure you can see it immediately. Double volume ceilings, that stunning dark teak rafters, and here it is, a bed that I think is even bigger than a king bed. This bed is gigantic, and behind it we've got a stunning sandstone feature wall with built-in speaker set over here. What kind of master suite is it if you don't have your very own fireplace I mean, the wood stack below it, you can just imagine sitting here on a winter night and enjoying yourself. And I love how that fire chimney goes all the way up to the ceiling. The corner, we've got two sets of stackable doors that meet at 90 degrees, opening up and taking this corner into indoor outdoor. You can really just sit here, look out onto the grounds, appreciate the dam, as well as the golf course of Eagle Canyon. But there's one more important thing that we need to talk about when it comes to a master bedroom, and that is the ensuite master bathroom. We're gonna start right over here. This is a fully enclosed steam shower. So not only can you enjoy the shower, but because it's enclosed, you can have your steam in. Just open up those pores in there, leave there feeling all nice and fresh, nice and pretty. We've got um, some waterproof plantation shutters in there that you can open up, let some light in, because I mean, you've got this incredible outdoor area. You definitely want to utilize it. And if a shower is not for you, well, then we've got this. And this must be one of the fanciest, most intricate bathtubs I have ever seen. This is a jacuzzi bathtub. You've got your waterfall faucet, all of these sprayers. So you're not only enjoying a good bath, but you are also getting a massage. I mean, guys, the lives of the rich and famous. And if you're rich, if you're famous, this is the home for you. Double vanity, mirrors on both sides of the vanity, so you can see all angles. And over here, you've got your walk-in closet. And this walk-in closet is U-shaped. So not only do you have all this cupboard space over here, as well as this bookshelf and a place to get ready, 
you zoom around the corner, you have got even more cupboard space, even more places for you to put your lovely belongings. And as usual, there is more because where's the toilet? Well, the toilet's tucked away neatly in this area, so you've got that privacy. Again, stunning feature wall right over here, bringing that barley feeling into this home. And now that we've went a little bit further down the home, let's take a look at what the rest of this garden has to offer. And then when we get down there, let's uh, talk pricing. So here we are, the remainder of the garden, absolutely stunning. Those are the plantation shutters looking into the shower area outside here. There we are, your indoor outdoor living. You've got these beautiful rattan hanging chairs for you to sit down and enjoy this lovely, tailored, indigenous outdoor garden. And all of this leads to a set of stairs with built-in lighting and overlooks an incredibly manicured garden area. I love the different decks and levels of this place. We've got a little area down there for you to enjoy some drinks and appreciate the nature that Eagle Canyon Golf Estate has to offer. So ladies and gentlemen, if this home is a home for you or you know somebody who's going to appreciate this home and I think there are so many of us what I'd like you to do is contact the agent all of their details are listed in the description of the video as well as on screen right now don't hesitate I think a home like this five bedrooms five and a half bathrooms for 22 million rand including all the furniture is an absolute steal but if you're looking for a home that's different if you're looking for a home that's smaller if you're looking for a home that's bigger Go to www.privateproperty.co.za. This is a website that incorporates all the homes from all the different agencies in your area throughout South Africa. So don't hesitate to take a look at it. Simple, intuitive, and easy to use. But from myself, Chad Riveros, from the team at Private Property, and everybody at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in once again, and we hope to see you again very soon. We love you. I'm gonna explore the rest of this garden, and goodbye.